Being in year 11, 12 and 13 and deciding what you want to do in life is a really big decision, especially if you're deciding to go into dentistry. You kind of want to go into something medical, but you're not sure if it's the right thing for you. COVID's not letting you get enough work experience and you think things are really repetitive. What are the best things about doing dentistry? What are the cons of dentistry that no one tells you about? Should I do it? Will I enjoy it? Is it the right degree for me? As a fifth year dental student, I've kind of been around the block a couple times to say the least and I just thought I'd give you my complete honest opinions on all of the pros that I could possibly think of but also all of the cons and all of the negatives of doing dentistry as a degree because let's be honest it's a really really big commitment you're in it for five years at uni and that's just the beginning then you've got your entire life looking into people's mouths all day long you want to be sure if it's the right thing for you hey everyone welcome back to this channel if you're new here my name is Ellen Shahir I am a fifth year dental student at the University of Leeds and this channel is all about helping you along your dental application process and also just documenting how life is as a dental student slash maybe eventually a dentist we'll see <laughs> so make sure you hit that subscribe button and also like this video if you want to see more of this kind of content but without further ado let's get straight into the video the very main reason for doing anything in healthcare, especially dentistry, is that you want to help people. You get to help people all day long, all the time. Any single treatment that you do on any individual will inevitably improve their life. You'll get them out of pain, can help them have their desired smile, increase their self-confidence. Like all of these things will be helping people and therefore will give you that immense feeling of satisfaction. So that is by far the biggest pro of doing anything in healthcare, but especially dentistry. As a general dental practitioner, you are qualified to do maybe like 90% of all treatments, which means you don't have to refer every single patient you see. Because you are qualified to do the majority of treatment on any individual, you get to see a patient from start to finish of their treatment, which is really, really nice. You get that massive like patient-dentist interaction that you may not get in other sectors of healthcare. You know, you're going on a dental journey with them and that's something that also gives you crazy crazy amounts of satisfaction if you are an individual who really likes creative things dentistry is something that you should definitely consider it is so so creative there is no set way of using one material and that is really really fun and it makes dentistry really really interesting dentistry really keeps you on your toes it's ever evolving loads of things are always changing like regulations new research papers coming out all the time digital dentistry is bigger than it has ever been it ensures that your skills as a professional are always evolving and improving too lots of people are concerned that dentistry is boring in dentistry let me tell you something no two patients no two teeth no two treatment plans are ever going to be the same you're always going to be doing different things with different individuals, which never makes it boring. Which brings me on to the point of having loads of different fields in dentistry. Dentistry is made up of loads of different parts. There are prosthodontic, endodontic, restorative, pediatric, orthodontic, oral surgery, max facts. There are so many different specialities that you can do as a dentist, which open up a massive, massive window of opportunities. And that's also what makes it not boring. In one day, you won't just be doing 20 fillings. You'll have 20 patients, but every single patient will need different things. One might need a filling, one might need a crown, one might need a bridge. Every day you will do an array of different things, which will mean that it will never, ever, ever be boring. Dentistry is very, very hands-on. You're literally working with your hands non-stop all day long, and that makes it really, really fun. So you can do really aesthetically pleasing work. Because you are self-employed as a dentist, you're in charge of your own work life. You can work nine to five, five days a week, or you can work nine to five, two days a week. It's up to you. It's really, really flexible, which means that it's got you've got a really good work-life balance. Like it's totally up to you how much you want to work. There are no night shifts. That's something great about dentistry. The work-life balance is great. As well as that, you can be your own boss. If you're interested in something businessy as well as something healthcare related, dentistry is great because you can own your own business. Another great thing about dentistry is there will always be job security. Like every single person in the whole world will need a dentist. At at one point in their lives and that's really comforting to know that you're needed all the time and you will be for the foreseeable future at least before you know robots come and 
they got our jobs away. One thing I really love about dentistry, you're like a detective. Like, if a patient comes in, you literally have to figure out why they are having a problem. There's a lot of problem solving in dentistry, which does make it challenging, but in a really, really good way. At uni, learning dentistry is really, really fun. It's not just sitting behind the screen in the lecture theatre all day long. There are so many different ways that we learn. We've got labs, so fun. There's so much fun. You just literally get to do whatever you want on a phantom head with all your friends around you, you know, like it's very, very chill. It's very, very fun. You've got seminars, you've got a little clinical group. Even at uni, you don't do the same things every day. And it's just really fun and interesting. You also get to know every single person in your year. It's like a huge family. Everyone at Leeds knows everyone. The year belows know the year above. And everyone in your year becomes friends. Over the five years that you're together, you're constantly changing groups. Everyone's friendly with everyone. And it's just like a big, huge family. Now that we've gone through all of the pros, let's go through all of the cons. The very first con that you may or may not be aware of is that dentistry is a very, very stressful career. Because you are totally responsible for all of your patients all of the time, the pressure, delivering the best care that you can, it can get really stressful and overwhelming. When you get to university, because you've literally never done anything dentistry before in your life, you are just thrown in at the deep end. And it, it, there is a bit of a steep learning curve, but everything does come with time and practice and and believe me, over the five years that you have here, you would have done plenty. Dentistry is one of those degrees where you kind of do have to go in every single day, which may not seem like a big deal for you guys if you're watching and you're in school because you do that anyway. But other degrees, you are only used to going to uni like once or twice or three times a week. Whereas dentistry, you'll, you will be in pretty much every day. With dentistry as a degree, the learning and the workload can build up and get a bit intense at times, especially around exam period. You are with all your your friends you're doing it all together and that makes it fun anyway and it's definitely worth it obviously I'm a little bit biased because I'm doing dentistry but I I have completely given you my honest opinions please don't be put off by any of the cons if you are still unsure if you still want to know more don't hesitate to dm me on instagram or comment down below and I will definitely answer but I hope this video was really helpful if it was don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I will see you guys next week